Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to electricity and magnetism. And uh, in the previous video, we discussed about the electric field intensity due to a continuous charge distribution. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the electric potential due to continuous charge distribution. So we have already discussed the basic concepts related to electric potential, potential difference, how it is related to uh, electric field, how line integration of an electric field gives us the value of potential difference between two points. So I would request you to please watch all the previous videos uh, related to this. So we have already discussed uh, the basic concepts related to uh, continuous charge distribution in one dimension over a straight line, in two dimension over a surface and in three dimension over a volume. So we know that uh, electric potential due to a single point charge is given by Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 r where we have a source charge present at a particular point and we have to find out the electric potential at any point P let's say uh, and uh, that is given by this and also about the electric potential because of a group of point charges. So now we'll discuss the same for a continuous charge distribution. So I've already discussed uh, about linear surface and volume charge distribution. So we'll just uh, go about it a little bit fast. So linear charge distribution here it consists of a length the object of a certain length okay here let's say we have an object of so here we have an object a straight object of length l and we have a total charge q distributed over this length l and here the charge distribution is expressed in terms of lambda which is linear charge distribution with unit coulombs per meter or like this. So normally we express electric potential as Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 r. This is the general expression where q is the total charge of the object or the body but here as the charge is uniformly distributed over this length l we have picked a small length small portion of that object dl and this much length it contains charge dq so in order to get the total charge q we have to integrate dq over this length l which will be given as lambda dl integrated over this length l like this okay so here the electric potential due to a linear charge distribution will be expressed as integration over this length l lambda dl by 4 pi epsilon 0 r okay like this but actually this 4 pi epsilon 0 is the constant so we can write it in a different way as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 lambda dl by r over this length l the total length l this is the electric potential due to a linear charge distribution this okay like this now we have the surface charge distribution so here in this case instead of a straight object of length l v which this was a one dimensional approach okay a one dimension in one dimension this is a two dimensional approach surface charge distribution it is a two dimensional approach so here we have a surface area 
where the total charge distributed over this surface is Q. So here we picked a small area ds. So this small area it will contain charge let's say Tq. So the charge is again uniformly distributed and this is expressed as sigma okay with units coulomb per meter square or like this. So again here we normally represent electric potential as this q by 4 pi epsilon 0 r. So here in order to get the total charge q we have to integrate dq over this surface this area which will be again expressed as q is equal to integration of sigma ds this over this area. So the elect uh, electric potential due to a surface charge distribution will be given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 surface integration sigma ds by r sigma ds by r. This is the electric potential due to a surface charge distribution. Okay. Now here this is the two dimension approach surface charge distribution the electric potential due to that. Then we have a volume charge distribution. This is a three dimensional approach. Here we have a volume where charge Q is uniformly distributed over this volume V. So for that we picked a small volume dV. So the small volume dV will contain charge dQ. The charge is uniformly distributed and is expressed as rho which is volume charge distribution unit coulomb per meter cube or this. Normally electric potential is expressed as Q by again 4 pi epsilon 0 R. So here the source charge Q it has to be found out by integrating dQ over this volume. Okay, So that will be integration volume integration rho dV rho dV. So the electric potential due to a volume charge distribution will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 volume integration rho dv by r rho dv by r. So this is the electric potential due to a linear charge distribution, a surface charge distribution and a volume charge distribution. So the basic concept is that in general the we have the expression of electric potential like this for any source charge. Here what we are doing is that we are substituting that same expression by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 dq by r. So that dq can be distributed over a length, over a surface or over a volume. So depending on that we can get that dq as line integration lambda dl for a linear charge distribution or it can be surface integration for sigma ds for a surface charge distribution or it can be for a volume charge distribution as V rho dV this. So the same the basic expression is this we are, we want to find out the total charge okay Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 r but here in order to find that total Q we have to perform this you know, line integration surface integration or vol volume integration because the charge can be either uniformly distributed over a straight line or over a surface or over a volume. Okay? So in practical situations 
actually we have to deal with these kind of you know charged bodies where charge is distributed over a straight line over a surface or over a volume so here we have discussed about electric potential due to a continuous charge distribution okay linear charge distribution surface charge distribution and volume charge distribution so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much